Hi, my name is Keegan Sweeney, and today I'm going to talk about bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is defined as the production and emission of light by a living organism, and is a form of chemiluminescence. Chemiluminescence is an emission of light from a chemical reaction, and most bioluminescent organisms are found in oceans. However, there are a select few on land, and the most common of which being fireflies. The others are uh, jellyfish, as pictured in the speed paint, and dinoflagellate algae, which uh, is basically what happens when uh, you, you put your hand in the water, you move it around, and it starts glowing because uh, it glows when it gets disturbed, and it produces a very, very beautiful reaction, which will be shown a little later. Chemiluminescence is a gene which can be extracted from bioluminescent creatures. The scientific community doesn't actually know uh, the origin of bioluminescence. However, they agree on two hypotheses, one put forth by Seliger in 1993 and one put forth by Reese et al. in 1998. Seliger suggests that the original function of luciferous, the enzyme used in the chemiluminescent reaction with the luciferin pigment, was to oxidize the substrate or the surface on which an enzyme acts. So that could be, for example, a table, you know, um, or the surface of the animal that it's emitting light from. As the early ancestors of marine life moved deeper and into darker waters through natural selection, they adapted, thus resulting in enhanced eye sensitivity, uh, and they started sending visual signals to each other through chemiluminescence. So that's his theory. <sighs> Recent his research team stated that luciferins, the pigment involved in the chemiluminescent reaction, may have arisen from pressures to protect oceanic organisms from potentially damaging reactive oxygen species. And all scientists agree that the bioluminescent gene has evolved independently more than 40 times. They originated in fish back in the Cretaceous period when dinosaurs still roamed and the first flowering plants began to emerge. Bioluminescence, as aforementioned, is used in many deep sea organisms, whether for luring prey, or warning others of predators, or maybe even disguise from predators, or communication with one another. These animals produce light via the chemical reaction between the pigment luciferian and the enzyme luciferous. The most frequently encountered bioluminescent organisms are the dinoflagellates, which flash either blue or green for one-tenth of a second, and only when they are manually disturbed, to tell other organisms that there's a predator in the water. And sometimes it even, it can even, once they eat the algae, they can, it can even make this stomach glow. Like the bioluminescent organisms will attach to uh, the walls of the stomach and, and try to glow, to uh, give away predator's position. When I first started this project, my question was whether or not the bioluminescent gene was the same in jellyfish and in algae, and from this uh, research I did, I learned that yes, it is the same, because there is the same reaction between the luciferin enzyme and the luciferous pigment. As such, the bioluminescence from jellyfish and algae are not only similar, but are one and the same.